Hello all. It is an absolutely stunning day outside today. So that's why I'm out here, as opposed to being inside. This is gonna be a quick little, well, hopefully quick, little old school style video. I'm gonna make the old days on this channel. I miss the old days, actually, to be totally honest with you. You, know? you could get away with pretty much anything, you know. Well, okay, maybe not so much that. You're limited to about 30 seconds worth of music, but that's still more than what you get now. This looks completely stupid. This is the uh, the new installation for the furnace. I'm not sure which one. It used to be that this was the exhaust and that was the intake. I don't know which one's which now. Um, my assumption is that this is the intake this is the exhaust, and the reason why it's up this high is to keep, you know, the carbon monoxide, whatever, away from this, away from that intake. Of course, it's still hooked up. That way better. This isn't going to replace the video log for this week, although. That will certainly feature some of its own things. It's been a while since I made one because it's been rather insane the last uh, several weeks. And I've uh, done some pretty major remodeling and uh, cleanup. About eight garbage bags worth. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get this little video uploaded tonight. Um, depends how much of a heroic editing effort it's going to take. Try and do as little editing as possible because, you know, like I said, just like the old days, you know, it was just a bunch of clips. It used to be that the camera I was using had a feature where you could split and combine clips. I used to just combine clips and upload it from the camera. It was really nice, uh, but of course you can't really do that anymore. Um, so, like I said, it's absolutely beautiful day. It's been a beautiful weekend. Um, and uh, a little warm. It's about 30 degrees out here right now, but that's not too bad. It's not stinking humid or anything like that. I was going to do something useful here, but it looks like I'm going to have to go inside and either get the key for this. Actually, I can't get the key for this because the key doesn't even work. Or open the garage door again because somebody has closed it. Telling you. And of course the car is in there, so I'll probably have to move the car. I was gonna get the bike out, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think it's a little too late for that. It's seven o'clock. And I got other things to do. I got computers to work on and stuff like that. And more computer stuff. Two machines I'm probably not even gonna end up keeping, but we'll see. This thing's still standing, although barely. I don't know if that's just rotting or if that's something that's gone in at that. Probably something that's gone in at that, to be honest with you. Good news, however, is that I don't see any wasp's nest or anything like that, so I'm not going to stick my head into a wasp's nest. This is new, and it's already flaking. Probably because it wasn't the uh, spider. Probably because it wasn't weatherproofed very well, if at all. There's a battery down there, that's interesting. But uh, everything else is original. I can't believe this is still here. But it is. Probably should have thrown that away. A metal scrap will probably take it. Most of it's metal, at least. I mean, the, this is plastic, and the base is plastic, but that's metal. And so is this. Somebody could probably actually get some use out of it. Although it blew over in a storm, and that's why it's down in the first place. It's been absolutely off the charts wet this year. Lots of rain, flooding, and all that mess. But 
but uh, it's finally starting to go away now. We're starting to get nice weather and we're starting to starting to dry up. The consequence of that is that the mosquitoes are off the charts too, and other bugs. R22. I thought it was an R12. Uh, it'll probably be a little bit new for R12. It's put in and I can't actually remember, you know. <laughs> I think it was put in in 2004, maybe 2001. It should say on it somewhere, you know. Somewhere in the serial number. Probably 2001. I think if I, if I looked at that right, I see 4901. And you see the stack of stuff that I'm getting rid of. I'm not real thrilled about that iMac especially, but <clears throat> sometimes you can't save them all, so. This is working nicely. I'm kind of amazed. Oh, there's a mosquito. Thing. I expect to see a lot of those this year because of all the the rainwater, the standing water and whatnot. I'm just amazed that this has degraded that much. It hasn't even been that long either. I wonder if there's termites in it or something. I hope not, but you never know sometimes. Anyway. Nice. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know about the back one. I don't think the back one... Well, maybe it was. Actually, I know I heard some thumping on the wall back here. Because the living room is right against this wall. I know I heard thumping, so I'm sure that this has been cleared out as well. But certainly the front front gutters have been cleared out. So, nice and clean. Just making sure I'm not being bit by a mosquito or something. Not that I'm sure it's going to make much of a difference. They're everywhere. I shouldn't really be out here. Doesn't help that I got some, we got cedar hedges. Anyway, lots of videos to edit. You know, recording the computer, edit, and then upload. Let's be done. I think that's probably another mosquito. It's a little bug. This is up and running now. With new hoses. Some old hoses got messed up. Actually, one of them cracked when we were trying to put them on. So, had to get all new hoses, so. They're nice, so I don't know why we went with this idea as opposed to the way it was done before. Looks nice. A little cloudy. But, uh, it's... I just have to clean everything off. Fully expect I'm gonna have somebody come out and ask me what, I, what on earth I'm doing. But uh, I'm going to get an extension cord set up. We'll see why here in a second. Other entries from the random bin. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. But uh, I got my new mattress, finally. I needed a new one about 15 years ago. But uh, I got a new one that came in yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday. The guy, uh, when he was removing the old one, <laughs> remarked that it would have fit, you know, been right at home on the Golden Gate Bridge. It was that arched. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad. I wouldn't I wouldn't really say it was that bad, but <clears throat> it was pretty bad for a mattress. It was time for it to go. But uh, you can see here, I've got my little very well used extension cord here. Why do I have that? Well. The unfortunate thing about the world we live in today is that metal scrappers are a big thing. And they go around and they take pretty much everything. Everything electrical, electronic, whatever, that you set out on the curb. So it really puts a crimp in my style when it comes down to picking up old stuff. But every once in a while you get lucky. You get to it before they do. So here in this lovely dilapidated shed that I brought over here. I have two things we're going to be inspecting, assuming I don't 
wake up whatever it is that's living underneath here, or find that there's something in it, which would be just as bad. I don't know why that water is still there. Let's go ahead and open this. Oh yeah, look at that, even more damage. I'm amazed this floor hasn't caved in, but well, it hasn't yet. Ah, check it out. <laughs> I think the stuff in here has been moved around, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, and there's a piece from a laptop I'm trying to keep out of the way. Let me get these out of here. Well, of course, wouldn't you know, the air conditioner turns back on again, so I gotta contend with that, but... Here's the first one. This is the one that I'm more interested in because it's the one that actually has the hose attached to it. Again, just making sure I'm not getting bit by mosquitoes here. I don't think it's a shop vacuum, or at least I don't think it's supposed to be a shop vacuum. So it says use indoors only for household use only. Not flammable or combustible, blah, 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 blah. It's all plastic. But, uh, probably not terrifically old or anything like that. But my intention is to use this probably as a car cleaning vacuum cleaner, nothing else. It's in decent shape. It's not got spiders or anything in it. Well, I shouldn't say that, there are spiders, but it doesn't have anything ridiculous in it. So we'll put that out of the way here in the way of the ants and the mosquitoes and all that mess. What's in here? Papers. And I'll be honest with you, I'm really not sure what the purpose of this is. It's almost like a tire or something. Do not attempt to operate machine without float disc inserted into the tank. Okay, it is a float disc. So it is a wet-dry vacuum. So I wonder why they tell you that you cannot use this outdoors. That's interesting. Well, it's not really a, a perfect seal, so I'm wondering if maybe that's why. Hopefully I didn't just screw up the aspect ratio of my video. I'll be really annoyed if it did. But, uh, let me see if this thing actually happens to work. So, yeah, no, it's, uh, Hopefully the hose isn't clogged or anything like anything dumb. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the put the base back on. Hopefully. Well and we'll put the base back on and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'll power it up. I was wondering what that uh, laundry detergent smell was out here. The dryer is running. And as you can see it's spewing out uh, spewing out lint. Yeah, that is would be the dryer, wouldn't be the washing machine. It'd be kind of weird for a washing machine to do that. So I went to our lovely little vacuum friend over here. I'm reasonably sure this should come out somehow, but I'm not really quite getting it. We can see the model on it now. Camera will focus. Six amp power usage. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yep, wet pickup. 1655C, if you couldn't read that, so you can date that pretty well and have a look at this. It has a good grounded cord, but I know for a fact that my uh, extension cord is missing the ground pin, so yeah, this is uh, real safe, highly recommended. Okay, let's plug in, let's see what it does when I hit the power. Very loud, but it works. Sounds like the average shop back. So, unfortunately, this uh, this little thing here is not really that useful. I guess if you I guess if you take off, oops, take off a little plastic piece here, and they probably had another one that would go on top of it, but. Of course, I don't have that. This is what you see is what you get. So unless there are other attachments buried in this thing, which there could be, I don't really know. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to come off, but I don't want to break it. So I'm sure that plastic is brittle. Anyway, let me get this 
the rest of this off and we'll see what else it can do. Okay, so that's removed. Seems to work just fine. I'll call that one a winner. I'll just make sure it's actually sucking things up. I want to remove the top, and we'll get the other one out. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Is that yes? Indeed, it looks like it is working just fine. So that could uh, benefit from a good cleaning. But uh, yeah, funny. Clean out the vacuum cleaner. But uh, seems to be working all right. Okay, let's go get the other one. Oh, well, that sucks. I was kind of hoping to find the hose in there, but all I found was this. I don't even know what this is. Actually, it's probably for a pressure washer, to be honest, but I don't have a pressure washer. Certainly not one that could use that. I'll admit this thing's got me a little confused. Uh, I'm not really sure why there's two holes. This is the exhaust, and this is the intake. It's a little carpet machine plus. Here's your model. M1630C power switch. I hope it's in the off position, but I guess I'm going to find out. Three wire basically means it's got a ground pin. 115, 6 amps. Pretty much exactly the same as the other one. And again, it's a wet dry. And the reason why I know that, and how you can tell, is it's got this little black ball in it, which is it, the water gets too high. I'm really hoping that this isn't messing up the aspect ratio on this video when it does that, but. Yeah, it's doing it again. But anyway, when the water level gets too high, that ball will float and block the, uh, the intake so it doesn't suck up water. That's how shop facts work. So that's really all these are, is they're just off-brand shop facts. I'm not really sure what you would call this. If this would be from the 60s or the 70s. The blue, I don't know. I'd say 70s, to be honest. But uh, maybe 80s. Well, they could be from the 60s. I might get quite the surprise when I go to look that up later. They're going to be thrown away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in place where it's supposed to go. And I'm going to power it up. I'm not going to be able to use it. Uh, I'm going to have to probably figure something out for a hose if I actually do want to put it to use for something. But that's all right. I'm sure I can find a hose somewhere. You've got the old pool hoses still. I may hang on to one of those and see if I can make an adapter back fits on this and goes to something small enough that the pool hose will fit on it. And it wouldn't be too bad. I gotta stop the yakking and start working and then get inside so I can be away from all these mosquitoes. Okay, well, either the switch is off or it's dead. Let's find out which. I think glass air, I'm telling you what. I wonder. Give me just a second here. Now this looks dangerous. I'm curious if this thing actually has enough sucking power to work like this. I've got that one there to try and prevent as much of the air coming out of that from blowing in my face as possible. Ah! It would actually work. Somewhat. Wow, I'm impressed. It would actually work. Yeah, it's not too bad. This is still blowing in my face. Probably should put something on that to prevent it from doing that. I almost wonder if there's something stuck in it. I just heard something go crinkle. I'm going to see how much of that dirt and crap actually ended up in the machine itself. And how much of it just still on the hose. I think we got a winner. I mean, you probably couldn't use the attachment on that. Well, you can't really use the attachment. But, I mean, really, if I want the attachment, I got this one over here. So, that's not too bad. I think we got a winner. 
I can't believe that actually worked. But uh, yeah, so I'll hang on to one or both of these pool hoses for however long I can. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. I might run them for a little bit and just air them out. See another mosquito. So I'm probably actually not going to do that. I think I'll probably just put them away, go inside where there are no mosquitoes. I'll wrap this video up, throw this in the trash. So yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching. If you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down below. Let me know if you want more of these old school style video vlog things where I just walk around in my backyard or whatever aimlessly and talk about things that are going on. Um, sorry it took so long to get to the, the meat and potatoes, but that's just kind of the way it is. I'm not exactly a a short, sweet, to the point individual, so there you go. I think these will come in real handy. More appliances, vintage or not, say from the landfill, and the scrapper's torch. Although you wouldn't really get much out of these. You'd, you'd, take, you'd take these in for metal recycling, you'd get the cord and that's it, maybe the motor. The rest of it's just plastic. But really, you're not recycling that. That's worthless. So. There you go.